welcome to episode two of Fallen Out of Love with Cruising, where we categorically concluded the last time, no, we have not. After reminiscing about the build-up to boarding, discovering our cabin for the first time, and no surprises, the food. So let's continue our countdown of reasons as to why we haven't fallen out of love with cruising. Now, I don't know about you, but I love exploring the ship for the first time, and in over 40 cruises, I will either head straight for a pool with a cocktail in hand, or walk the entire ship. If you avoid the buffet on boarding, it's usually so quiet, and I love those moments before everybody else is on board. <laughs> We're going on. <laughs> Nothing beats that excitement of, you know, getting on board and exploring. go on a cruise ship we generally do quite a lot of research for our holiday um, but when you go on a new ship the exploration of the ship is one of very exciting times. We're quite boring actually or, or a bit geeky maybe in that we the research we do before we go we watch loads of YouTube videos and we like to know what to expect before we go. Oh yes, yeah, still got it. And just look at the range of atriums these amazing ships have to offer. Um, and I always say to Tone, oh, we should do like a little bar crawl, but we never get <laughs> past the first bar. <laughs> and somehow I don't think you're the only ones. Yep, this was moments before I fell off. Clumsy oaf. When you go on a ship you've been on before, it's like coming home. Yep, can't argue with that. Home comforts. Room for three. There really is no other feeling like heading for the horizon, surrounded by blues of the sky and ocean, that fresh sea air, the sense of freedom, and also seclusion from the rest of the world. Here's that view of the wake, a nice cocktail in your hand, right at the back of the ship, seeing your cares float away on a beautiful warm sea day. Definitely missing that. Uh, you just can't beat Caribbean Blue. And does anybody else miss a glass of something really cold whilst watching the ocean go by?
and it's not always plain sailing of course, but I can guarantee excitement. And sometimes you just need to feel the motion of the ocean. Never needed these yet. There are some countries, cities, towns and villages I guarantee we would not have visited if it weren't for cruising. And the feeling of waking up well rested, that's if you weren't up partying all night of course, in a new country is an unparalleled experience. Well, I miss its destinations and its exotic ports. What I love about cruising is that you pack once, you get on the ship and each day you get to visit a new destination. cruising because it's like a taster menu of all the different destinations around the world. You wake up somewhere new every day. One thing I'm missing a lot is that excitement of um, being on deck as your ship is sailing into port and you've got a whole day of exploring ahead and the excitement of that, um, that's what I'm really missing. So where in the world would you like to explore next? For me, one of the best things about a cruise is waking up in a different port every day, being able to explore a new city or town uh, without all the hassle of travelling. And how about a gin factory right across the road from where your ship is docked? Yes, please. Uh, steady on, boy. And join us soon for the final episode of Fall on Earth Love of Cruising. Don't forget to subscribe to Travel Blog Jamie on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter.